Alright, welcome back to Project 2 on the Turbo Yamaha S21 build. Today the scratch built cow saga continues. In the last video we popped off the cow from the mold and did a test fit with the spinner in place. The fitment is spot on just like we planned, so I can't think of a better thing to do next other than cut a big hole in the fresh carbon surface we just worked so hard on. I'll start with the normal disclaimer here, in no way am I an expert. This is simply how I went about building a cow from scratch with the tools and supplies that I have access to. I'll also mention that this is far from standard as far as a typical aircraft engine installation goes. So the cooling and the airflow and the other considerations uh, that normally limit or influence the cow shape are nil and void really. And uh, I have a complete other set of requirements that I'm attempting to hit. I'll do my best to explain my theories and guesstimations towards these aspects in the future video uh, when I get a bit more of it in place rather than just in my head. In this video I'm building an event above the turbo and the header in the upper aft section of the cowl. Uh, the reasons are twofold. First off, after shutdown there's a good amount of heat in this system uh, and that needs to go someplace. And secondly, the vents live in the hot side or the post cooler section of the cowl. Uh, this area needs to be of lower pressure in order to suck the air through the coolers as much as possible. I will have the traditional exit in the bottom rear section uh, similar to other aircraft that will also help with this lower pressure and you'll see all that in the coming weeks. I'm not going to go into great detail on the placement of this vent just yet. You'll have to stick around for the video in the future covering my design theories of this whole system. I use that same pink foam insulation that I've used all along for the mold surface. It's easy to cut and shape and has served me pretty well so far. The only difference this time is that I do have full access to the back side, so removal after the epoxy cures is so much simpler. I don't see a need in narrating this whole video since the process is the same, just a different part. So I'll just get on with it.
alright, there you have it. I've got this feature up to the same point as the rest of the cowl. I'll be putting one final layer of carbon over the entire surface when I get everything just how I want it, but I think it's looking pretty cool so far. This one was pretty intricate, and it required a ton of hand sanding, but in the end, so worth it. Will it work? Well, I don't know. This could have been just two weeks of practicing composite work. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next update.